Joining us in the studio right now, fresh off her 14th straight victory in the U.S. House of Representatives, is District 3 Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro. So let's throw it right over there to Ann Nyberg, who's with DeLauro right now. Ann. We just happened to find you. That's right. Here I am. Congratulations Thank again. You. What does Thank this you. mean to you? Longest serving woman from Connecticut and second longest, right, in the U.S. House. In the ever. U.S. House. Yes. No, this is very, very exciting. I, I, you know, it... it it never, you never, it's the same thrill, you know, it was uh, uh, 26 years ago in 1990, my first race, and, and then being there tonight at the Schubert with people there and cheering you on and so forth, and, you know, this is a job where people put their faith and their trust in you and that they have confidence that you'll represent their interests. Uh, in the House of Representatives. So for the 14th time, uh, <laughs> they have said, uh, as I said tonight, uh, they've given me another chance. And I'm so terribly grateful for that. Really grateful. All right, we're gonna hold, just hold that thought one second. Okay. Let's get right over to Scott McDonald. We have another state. Okay. Let's find out what it is. Thanks. Yes, really quick. Uh, Oregon, the state of Oregon going to Hillary Clinton. That just announced by the Associated Press. That brings the total now to 197 to 12. Oregon and its seven electoral votes going to Clinton. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you. Okay, as we look at this national map, is this what you expected? It's a tight race. I, I mean, I don't know why people thought this was just a slam dunk or what it was. It's gone back and forth. We know that. It's, uh, I expect Hillary Clinton is going to win this race, but I think it's going to be a long night, and I'm confident. If Hillary Clinton does not win this race and Mr. Trump wins, how are we going to get a concession, compromise going in the Congress? Well, one, let me just say this, Ann. I believe Hillary Clinton is going to win the race, so I'm not speculating about uh, another, uh, another outcome. But as, as, as a member of the House of Representatives, as a Democratic member of the House of Representatives, you have to work together uh, to make things happen. And my hope is, is that we can come together, that we would not be uh, 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 obstructionists and quite frankly that's what's happened over the last several years in the house with my colleagues on the other side of the aisle essentially being obstructionists to not deal with the very big important issues the economic issues that are facing the american people as you go back for a 14th term what is it that you want to do this time around well and in about three sentences three sentences <laughs> very very quickly it is all about the economy People need to have a job and they need to have rising incomes. That is what the biggest challenge that we have today. And that's what I want to focus my time and attention on because people are working hard. Everyone's in the workforce, but they are struggling to be able to take care of their families. And they need hope. Congresswoman Rosa Doyle, thank you very much and thank congratulations. You. Thank you again. very much.